Yes guys, so welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing fine this morning or evening, whatever you're watching this video. So today guys, we're for a different location again, you know. Right now we are looking some parrot, snapper, barra, everything we are going for today again. You see all the previous times, so we are getting some nice little string. We could do the water the dirty last time, but hopefully, hopefully today we get some clean water cars. Mikey, they come down this side, the other day. Today we will better dive there. And he said, don't be side clean. So, we also are going to do it today. We can see some barra when they get a chance. So, hopefully, we see some barra today too. And see some stuff. I see some nice stuff for yesterday again. So, well, just watch what I want, guys. So, just stay tuned. Alright, take a look at the area, guys. Yeah, man. We are go. They're going to do it for no guys. Yeah. So, a nice little pool right here, so. There with the hat machine again guys. I remember how me usually complain about say gun light, a small gun. Guys, well, we get used to it you now. Yeah man, Marcus love it too, you know guys. Yeah. Alright, so we are going there. So just stay tuned and watch our gun guys. Join me under the water. Let we go, let we go, let we go. Welcome to another underwater segment with Spearfishing Brothers. So this was the second fish Marcus took a shot at for the morning and he was unsuccessful with this one. The first fish he took a shot at was a mutton snapper. Just as we enter the water and reach on the deeper side, we saw it. Well, I saw it and I call him to spear it because he was using the taller gun. He did spear it, but we didn't get that fish. It tore out. He didn't get to record it because his battery is giving problems as I mentioned in the previous video whenever he turned on the camera sometimes the camera lock off before you reach under the water to spear the fish this was my first fish it was a barracuda this was Marcus footage of me going down to take the shot this is my footage now this one was a huge one it was also two of them I took a shot at it and guess what happened guys the shooting line tangled up around the rubber so the spear only jam it and this fish escape I'm going to also slow it down for you and just before I took the shot as well there was a snapper a huge mountain snapper that come up see the guys look to the left and you see it I'm going to put an arrow there the shot placement was really good on this barracuda if the spear went through it would have been a good holding shot if you look at the gun angle there you can see the rubber it's tied up with the shooting guard yes guys i was really really sad while going up i was showing marcus the snapper he saw it as well and now showing it to me so what we did was i gave him the big gun for him to set up to see if he could spare the snapper but the snapper left so we tried a different technique yeah man we started to set line to see if we could catch a snapper so this was the first line we were setting and today dive turned out different from what we planned we didn't leave this area we stayed in one area and on for the entire dive we were off to a bad start because the first fish mark was spear the mountain snapper that tore off and the first fish i speared was the barracuda and it tore off as well however we still didn't give up we continued the hunt so after setting the line we swam a few feet away from the line hoping the snapper would pick it up so after we did that marco saw this mountain snapper he made a dive on it and also took a shot but he was unsuccessful with the shot we were really off to a bad bad start guys but don't worry 
things are going to pick up in the end yeah man so just stick around and please remember to leave a like on the video yeah man and also a comment I saw a squab here and decided to spear it so that I can scale it to rob the water to attract snappers so I made this slow dive on it it was there feeding not paying me any mind I like to encounter them when they are feeding because it's easier to spear them I went close to this one and I gave it a knockout shot yeah man men I came out cool guys so after scaling this fish we didn't see any snapper so we decided to head back for land and cut our losses while we were going in the direction of land I saw this mountain snapper I had the big gun I didn't even call Marcus I just made this dive on it a slow dive it swam away from me I tracked it this fish wasn't giving me the broadside so I decided to take a side shot and I was successful with the shot yeah man that was a classic shot guys you see that spear much him up guys he didn't even fight a lot what i noticed with these running snappers is that they are not going to give you the broad side so you have to shot them wherever you get the chance i speared three since recently two in the last video and both of them got a tail shot and this one also got a tail shot yeah man so that was marcus there he, re he heard the shot and came over and gave it a second shot because he didn't see the gill but this gill was inside of the fish so it couldn't escape but we wanted to secure it because we weren't having a good day so we decided to stay a little longer scale the fish to see if we saw any more coming over so Marcus was scaling that snapper there while he was scaling it I saw two more snapper but these ones were small I made a slow dive on them hoping not to spook them because they were moving restless and I didn't want them to go over back the hedge but they did exactly what I didn't want them to do you see that guys and gone we were still there scaling the, the, the same snapper when I look I saw two more again came over these ones were small as well I made another dive on them this time I went even slower yeah man I filled my ear pipe and everything before I dive and I went slow as you can see here I'm going down slow these ones got curious and guess what they do guys they came to play peekaboo yeah man so peekaboo I see you I took a shot at this one and I speared it it was a good rolling shot it even went and the shooting line that is why it's swimming around so much because whenever fish is on the shooting line they can swim however they like yeah man they are free but it's hard for them to escape from the shooting line it's easier for them to escape when they are on the spear i was in no ace to pull up the snapper because i know this one couldn't escape even though it wasn't a big one it was still a nice one right here we saw another snapper but we didn't get any chance with this one you see how much snapper we saw today guys yeah man we saw a lot of snappers today after that snapper left we were there for quite some more time we didn't see anymore so we decided to swim to another spot while we were going to the other spot I saw a huge mountain stopper here this one was the biggest one we saw today this one was about a 10 pound size we didn't get any chance with that one immediately after that snapper left we saw another bar a barracuda this one wasn't a big barracuda it went underneath this rock so I waited for it to come out from underneath the rock because I didn't know exactly where under the rock it was when I saw it come out I made this dive it was trying to go back underneath the rock here and I took a shot and I speared it it's when shot bite him guys and run on the rock and run out in turn fool and watch out guys he hit the water you know I mean I saw the warrior look like saying well, come up, 
So I just hold tension on the card and swamp out the surface. Yeah, man, and then I got this barracuda you know, and I can shoot. Oh, this was also good watching. Marcus! I was alerting Marcus there that the snapper that we speared previously you know, wasn't on this fish line. He was scaling it to attract the 10 pound snapper and didn't realize that he let it go because he was watching me with the barracuda. We also couldn't let that snapper sink to the ocean floor because maybe we wouldn't have gotten it back because the water on the edge right there is really really deep. We cannot see down on the bottom of the water. We call that place deep water pint. Yeah man, you cannot see the bottom good. You cannot see the bottom good. We decided to go in here and while going in, Marco saw this red belly and he speared it. This one was a nice one, a good size one. We were going to head in at the same spot we dive out because as mentioned early on, we didn't leave from that area. The plan changed when we jump off and saw the early snapper and barracuda. We stayed in that same area and went. Marcus speared some other fish, a nice pink parrot, nice squab, and I think two other fish, but we didn't get to record it because the camera battery was going in and out. So right here he saw a mutton stop underneath the hole. He made a dive previously, but he wasn't skin underneath the rock. The light was also giving problems. So what he had to do was we had to he had to surface and try to fix the light. Light battery was dead, but guys, me don't know what me know. We we'll play around, play around with it until the light turned on back for a little. And right there, you went back down with the light and speared the snapper. You see it there, right? So, guys, I'm up with the arrow. Yeah, man, so he speared the snapper and surfaced. He didn't want to pull it out at the same time because whenever you do that, there's a high chance they will escape. Sometimes it's best to surface and breed up and make another dive. So just as he surfaced, I realized that he fired the shot. So I made this dive to take out the snapper. When I touched the card here, I realized that he was on it. You see how the card have flick up guys and the spear right there flicking up. Yeah man, but he was stuck underneath the wall. So I draw it a little. Yeah man, I felt it coming out, guys. Let me see, you see that, guys? Let me see my come out in the guys. It seems as if he wants to go him off. I spray it or something. Just grab him and hug him up, you know? Yeah man, I head back for surface. You see that? Yes, guys. This one was a little bigger than the one I speared. Yeah man, so you see that, guys? We started off bad. But at the end, yeah man, everything went well and we were thankful for this catch. I'm going to show you the catch in more details. I'm going to show you only two snap of the rest of that all are pretty guys. So that was the last shot for the morning. So join me back on land now guys. Yeah man, let's go back to land. Yes guys, so we just come in. So this is the catch. Yeah man, three mutton snapper. So nice parrot. And a small barrel, guys. We did plan for look so small fish today, but when we go to the water, as we go to the water, Mark, Mark, Mark was telling Mark was shoot a snapper and he get to us. So, what we do is that we stay at one area and I own snapper, I own snapper, and we shoot two more at the area. But make Mark was telling where I'm going. Guys, I tried the first dive. The first dive. I just want to dive on the deep. I'm mean, in a warm up with that. Go out as you are going, we see him and we run him go out there. And we take the dive off of him. I told you two times we dive. Take the dive off of him. Take the dive off of him. Good on. I threw my head three deep, which I just have to go a little bit more. When we shoot this up, now, we see him tear up, we could have ball. He said, Why? He said, Go still. He went to Jemai shoot the barra. And he, and, he, and he just feel it juke, juke him, so Jesus. I can't let up against you with the rubber. Hey, me, me vex the sun of me, I say, I'm a cool time. I'm a cool time, I say, no, say, 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 I'm a
if we don't shoot off a small fish like the Paradimanti, we would have shoot a lot more. But because we shoot the, the snapper early, the and the barra, when we, when we, when we shoot and the, the card tie up. From there, so we just change how we, where we are on. We just start on be a snapper. I want to see me where we stay now, guys. After we not see no more snapper, then we say, all right, we are going. I will see my come down and mark we start shooting small fish. Yeah, man. Well, we give thanks. We all end up coming in a barra spot. We, the, wa the, the water never good the way where we do want to go as well. So we just come down a barra spot. Yeah, man. But guys, we get a lovely catch. See that? So we are go. You can see that everyone has fish and scale already. Because we are scaling fish them for your track. It's not for them. <coughs> Except for the barracuda. Yeah, man. So we are scaling them and I want to go to my head up. So thanks for watching, guys. And please remember to leave a like on the video, alright? We are head up now because we are tired. Yeah, man, a lot of work we do. So that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.